Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com. Today we're going to take a look at Photoshop's scripts events, ma script events manager I should say. Sounds a little geeky. It is a little geeky but don't worry there's no coding required. Um, but you can actually write your own scripts for Photoshop uh, just as a little side note. It's really really cool. It allows you to work with Photoshop and automate things probably in ways you've never thought you could before and in ways that you can't um, with any of the batch processing or any of the action features in Photoshop. It's really powerful and really cool. Let's talk about our sponsor for this tutorial. In fact, the entire month of April of 2016, GraphicStock.com is sponsoring uh, these daily videos. GraphicStock's Creative Rewards Month is April of 2016, and their offer is $39 for six months of a uh, subscription to GraphicStock.com, which, by the way, is a massive online library of 300,000 plus vectors, illustrations, and photos, all royalty free, all available for your downloading and use pleasure. Uh, so. Check them out, graphicsdoc.com. There'll be a link in the description to this video. So the script events manager, it's file scripts, script events manager, of course. The first thing you're going to do is, this is the default actually, is not even to enable anything. So we're going to first enable events to run scripts and actions. And what we need to do is choose what Photoshop event is going to trigger either a script or, by the way, you can just trigger a simple action if scripts are a little bit too, you know, out of your league or you're, you, you know, you're worried about them or you just don't find any scripts that you find useful. We're going to say uh, when we open a document, we're going we're gonna to set this to, to change something when we open a Photoshop document. And by the way, if we make this something that goes on whenever this event takes place in Photoshop, this script will be executed literally every time a document is opened in Photoshop. There's a built-in script. Uh, where is it? Open as layer. This is the one that I want. By the way, there are a bunch of different Photoshop events you can choose from. I'm just choosing open document. The script I'm going to choose is open as layer. Now before we go any further, there are a ton of scripts available online for free that do all kinds of things. There's scripts that'll take your design and like wrap it in a flattened version of the, the Mac Safari uh, web browser. So you can see like if you're mocking up a website or graphics, what it would look like like that. Um, there's scripts that do just little stuff like eliminate the word copy if you duplicate a layer and you know it'll say like background layer copy stuff that does that um, and then there's stuff that'll like take a take a photo and convert it to an iOS icon and export it to the whatever it is 8 10 or 12 different you know file sizes and types that the the uh, Apple App Store requires you to have when you submit an app and so on and so forth there's some scripts that you have to pay for a lot of people just offer scripts for free there's so many different scripts out there online that you can check out and download and I'll show you at the end of the tutorial where you kind of save them uh, on your computer to make them show up here we're going to choose this open as layer you should have this one as well basically what this is going to do is when we open up any Photoshop document it converts the locked background layer to just a regular layer automatically now what we need to do is choose add and now that is one of the events that's always going to run when a certain or I'm sorry it's one of the scripts that's going to run when a certain event takes place all right now note you can also just like I said before an action if there's a specific kind of sharpening you always apply to an image when you open it uh, or you know when you close it or uh, I don't know all, there's all kinds of there's so many different options I can't even begin to uh, describe all kinds of hypotheticals the tutorial will get even more boring than it's been thus far I'm gonna choose done note I did hit add to just add this open document and then open as layer JSX which is the script file that it's gonna execute go ahead and hit done what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up another version of this file that I have on my desktop. I'm going to open, and right here, I've got cluborange.jpg. And when I open it, check it out. We don't have a locked background layer. It just takes the file name, club-orange.jpg, and we have an unlocked background layer that has the name of the file. So it just converts that locked layer, right, instead of background and locked to just a layer with a name. Now, if you have this set and you go through and for some reason you need your locked background layer, you can always go layer new background from layer and it's going to convert it back to a locked background layer if you absolutely need that uh, for whatever reason because there are reasons uh, that you may need that. So the script events manager, crazy powerful. There's so much that you can do with it. Oh, I should show you. On the Mac, if you're downloading a script, you need to go to your applications folder, Photoshop CC 2015, then you go to your presets folder, then you go down to your scripts folder, then you're going to go event scripts only and you can see there are all those different JSX files open as layer is right there. Uh, if you're on a Windows I, uh, Windows OS, excuse me, I believe you go, like you choose your main drive, which is probably your C drive, program files, Adobe, Photoshop CC 2015, or whatever version of Photoshop you're using, uh, presets, scripts, event scripts only. Off the top of my head, I believe that's what it is. 
and that would be where you would drag and save scripts that you download uh, online to be used with your own images and whatever you want to use them for. So for the script events manager in Photoshop, I know this has been kind of a complicated tutorial and longer than uh, some of these daily tutorials usually are, but it's a super powerful feature. Script events manager in Photoshop, that's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.